Are you wanting to turn back the hands of time? Are you looking for the fountain of youth? Well, I can't say I found it. Aging is a natural and inevitable process that no one can escape. But there is hope. There are things we can learn from science about the aging process. What speeds it up? and what slows it down. And as you may have guessed, molecular hydrogen can play a very profound role in that process. We are gonna look at some of the things we know about aging and how hydrogen can potentially help slow down that process. First, let's talk about what aging is, as well as some major contributing factors. I should note that this whole topic has been debated for ages. There are many theories out there as to how or why we age. There is probably more that we don't know than we actually know. So we are gonna share what we have seen in the research that science is suggesting as contributing factors to the aging process. After all this time, there's still so much to be done in the science of aging. So let's begin with the simple definition of aging. Aging is the progressive accumulation of changes with time that is associated with or responsible for the ever-increasing susceptibility to disease and death which accompanies advancing age. It's a complex process that results from a combination of environmental, genetic, and epigenetic factors. Aging is the major risk factor for diseases like cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and neurodegenerative disorders. According to this study, science is far from understanding the biological basis of aging. However, research suggests that targeting the aging process itself could ameliorate many age-related pathologies. But how will we do that? Let's look at some highlights from our research and point out some key themes to the aging process. Many studies have found that increased oxidative damage in cells is associated with aging. In the context of aging, the accumulation of oxidative stress is a key driving force that ultimately increases the susceptibility of developing age-related pathologies. Oxidative stress is when the production of reactive oxygen species overwhelms the body's antioxidant defenses. Another article proposes that oxidative damage plays a role in aging when the damage caused by ROS results in the generation of senescent cells. Senescent cells are essentially cells that lose their ability to self-replicate. Senescence has emerged as a potentially important contributor to aging and age-related diseases. Inflammation also plays an important role in the aging process. A chronic pro-inflammatory status is a prevailing feature of aging. This article argues that aging is marked by a systemic decrease in NAD plus across multiple tissues. NAD plus is a coenzyme in our cells that is involved in hundreds of metabolic processes. NAD plus levels have been reported to decline during aging and age-related diseases. Recent studies have shown that raising intracellular NAD plus levels represents a promising therapeutic strategy for age-related degenerative diseases and increased lifespan. Another factor to look at is telomerase activity. Telomeres protect the integrity of DNA by serving as end caps of chromosomes. Telomere length is a marker for cellular aging. It decreases with age and has been associated with age-related diseases. Environmental factors, including diet and lifestyle factors, affect the rate of telomere shortening. But this can be reversed with the enzyme telomerase. Telomerase activation by natural molecules has been suggested to be an anti-aging modulator that can play a role in the treatment of age-related diseases. Another factor in the aging process is the NRF2 pathway. NRF2 is a transcription factor that has been deemed the master regulator of cellular redox homeostasis. NRF2 activation also declines with age. It upregulates genes that combat oxidative stress. Therefore, the loss of NRF2 expression would allow oxidative stress to go unmitigated and drive the aging process. Another promising target mentioned in anti-aging research are enzymes belonging to the sirtuin family. This study mentions that they observed an age-dependent decrease in the levels of SIRT1 in the arteries. This suggests that enzymes are involved in the aging of the cardiovascular system. There is some evidence that SIRT3 can influence the longevity in humans, although more research is needed. Observations at the cellular level and data obtained from human studies suggest that sirtuins could be considered a key regulator of aging. The level of these enzymes decrease with age while its upregulation alleviates the symptoms of aging. Now remember, this is not an exhaustive list and there are many different theories about the factors that impact aging. And oftentimes, the factors are heavily related. Most of the factors you see here either impact each other, work together, or are highly connected. Okay, so it looks like we identified plenty of the potential factors in the process of aging, but this isn't an aging video. This is an 
anti-aging video. And of course, you know, we are all about the hydrogen here. So let's see if hydrogen can do something about all this aging up in here. In one particular study, they observed anti-aging effects of hydrogen water on oxidative damage. H2 has been shown to mitigate oxidative stress and may exhibit anti-inflammatory and anti-apoptotic effects. Speaking of inflammation, drinking hydrogen water is proposed here to be effective in suppressing negative effects resulting from aging and inflammation. Actually, we did a whole video about hydrogen benefits for inflammation. You should go check that out here. In this study, they exposed cells to a toxin that decreased its NAD plus levels and impaired CERT1 activity. But when hydrogen was introduced to the cells, the NAD plus levels and CERT1 activity was maintained. This means hydrogen protects the cells from damage that leads to the decrease in NAD plus levels. Let's keep going. In this article, we learned that H2 has a long lasting antioxidant and anti-aging effect through the NRF2 pathway. It even goes so far to say that hydrogen rich water may be a functional drink that increases longevity. Next, hydrogen water also increases telomerase activity. Increased telomerase activity caused by hydrogen water may be able to protect telomeres from degradation. This suggests the possible use of hydrogen water in therapeutic interventions of age-related diseases. The finding of this study indicates that the mechanism of hydrogen may be associated with the upregulation of the CERT1 enzyme. And this study reported that hydrogen treatment could have regulated the expression of the CERT3 enzyme, along with enhancing the activity of antioxidant enzymes and reduced inflammatory response. In fact, this study mentions that hydrogen treatment could have regulated all seven Sirtuin levels. The results from this study indicates that H2 is able to reduce DNA damage and prevent premature cellular senescence in the lungs. This study shows the antioxidant and anti-senescence effects of hydrogen water. It goes on to state that because of this, Hydrogen water is potentially a potent anti-aging agent. According to this, it's highly likely that hydrogen is involved in maintaining the redox status of the cell, making it able to suppress cellular senescence and individual aging. It says, therefore, H2 may be involved in the suppression of aging. So I know you didn't get any younger by watching this video, but hopefully you learned something new and have a better grasp on what the aging process is and what H2 can do about it. We're all going to grow older in terms of the minutes we are alive. It's inevitable. But according to what we now know about the benefits of hydrogen, getting old might not have to hurt so bad. We would like to take a minute to thank our patrons for supporting this channel. We couldn't do this without you. If you would like to be a part of what H2 Minutes is doing, go to patreon.com and check out our page. Starting next month, we're actually going to do something new for our Patreon supporters. We're going to be making new exclusive vlog videos discussing new stuff with the channel, new video topics and ideas, and new hydrogen information. We're really excited about it because it will give our supporters a deeper look into our life and our process. Check it out so that you can stay in the H2 Minute loop. Now is your age reversing dose of H2 in two minutes.